r slash ask reddit what upgrade was totally worth the price 4 gb ram to 16 gb ram i realize how much pain they has been similar experience going from a standard hdd to an ssd yeah i think going from ssd to hdd is just by far the biggest jump there is it's absurd i went back to a hdd laptop and it's been hell been holding off buying one but i'm about to give in also it has 4 gigs of ram and crashes with two mini chrome tabs yep cheap backpack comma decent backpack hell yes i've had my camel back backpack don't use the water bladder anymore but the backpack is great for over 10 years now i've taken it to like 15 different states and four countries still in awesome shape only has just a couple scuffs and signs of age but the material is still just as strong as day one plus the straps etc help with the weight if i'm carrying something heavy or if i've jammed a bunch of shit in there for a long weekend trip i bought a jam sport in sixth grade three years of grade school four years of high school and more years of college than i care to admit it's more than five and 23 years later it's still going strong not used too often anymore but duck that thing is was great jansport has a lifetime guarantee send it in if it's worn out they'll fix it or replace it for free i remember sending one of mine in and i received a postcard about how i was enjoying summer camp I thought that was funny, it decided to stay and send a friend back to me. High speed internet. I got stupid lucky the other day with the internet. I discovered that the apartment complex I live in has a deal with a fiber provider that makes HTE prices way cheaper. And I also remember that my company pays X amount of internet costs as a benefit. I also discovered that the option for 1000 stroke 1000 internet is cheaper than the amount my work is willing to pay. AKA I discovered I can get gigabit internet for free. I think fiber versus cable is a bigger difference than the total speed. Because with fiber you actually get that speed. Consistently. With good consistent ping. Like. I had 150 stroke 150 fiber. And 300 stroke 300 fiber. In 3 different places. I really barely noticed the difference between 150 and 300 unless I was downloading something huge. Meanwhile I now live in an older place with 300 stroke 20 cable. And it's shit compared to my 150 stroke 150 fiber because ping is all over the place. Every now and then minor packet loss. Just sucks balls. I would take like 75 fiber over my 300 cable. That being said when I lived in Munich I had cable internet there that was 100 stroke 10 and it was basically just as good as the fiber I have had just slow on the upload. My point is, 1000 stroke 1000 is overkill for almost everyone. But fiber or proper cable infrastructure makes a huge difference I've yet to see good cable infrastructure in the US or Canada. Exactly this. I went from 10 stroke 5 to 500 stroke 300. It was amazing. Unfortunately this means I rage every time I have bad reception on my phone since it takes so long to load. Ever since I bought super thick and soft 100% cotton blankets, I've been having my best sleep ever. My friends and family roll their eyes at me for getting 100% cotton sheets but I will never go back. It's also the only thing I spend time on ironing. It's just so soft and smooth. They even call me a snob for it. I am from Yorkshire. The joke's on them though. Stupid polyester peasant sleepers. Polyester sheets are ducking straight trash. Might as well sleep on plastic bags. Right? Oh 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 oh. La dee da. Captain Fancy Pants over here doesn't want to sleep like a mangy raccoon in a fiberglass insulation nest. This is a really great one that's not too expensive but is worth every penny. Also try to look for ones that have cotton fill as well. Lots will say 100% cotton on the front label but will usually show the top, bottom, and fill material on the back or sewn in tag. Make sure all three are cotton for maximum cozy nights. Weighted blanket. It only comes out on Sundays, though, because it made it too hard to get out of bed. I finally sprung for a weighted blanket. It's arriving tomorrow. Can't wait. Any advice on purchasing a quality weighted blanket? I love love mine. Make sure to get one with smaller sewn pockets that keeps all the weight evenly distributed. And for sure with a removable cover slash duvet. Whoa, it must be really heavy. Mine is 15 pounds. If you really hate money, you can find 25 pounds ones. 
I'm laughing my ass off. Somehow, in 50 years, I have never heard the expression if you hate money to explain paying more for something. Started to buy more expensive clothes. Fit better. Lasted longer. A really nice pair of headphones for when I'm at work. Makes time fly and the day overall becomes much more enjoyable. For me it was a good pair of wireless headphones. Sound simple, but it changed everything. I can do chores around the house while listening to a podcast or good music. Never losing the audio quality. Truly life changing. This is going to sound dumb. But I spent money on good garbage bags instead of the Walmart brand for inside the house and the outdoor can. Life is better. Less ripping? Far less. It's been wonderful on garbage days. Feel like dancing as I take the garbage out. Let's dance. Put on your red shoes. And dance the blues. I wanted an SSD for my PC for ages but kept putting it off. My BF bought me one as a gift and honestly it's like a brand new computer. It turns on instantly, and games which usually took a long time to load like Crusader Kings for example, loaded in seconds. If you're still using a mechanical hard drive, upgrading to an SSD is the single most important upgrade you can make. It will have the biggest impact on your day to day use and can make an 8 year old computer feel like brand new. And HDD are great for the extra capacity, so having both and storing important stuff like OS and frequently used programs on the SSD and having free 15 terabytes of storage on a HDD is the way to go if you need the space emo. Getting a divorce and remarried, I was actually surprised that you can live with someone and still like them. I was about to post the same thing. My best upgrade was ending my toxic marriage and replacing it with someone I actually enjoy being around. Paying professional movers instead of renting a U-Haul. $500 was totally worth not having to schlep my own crap down from a third floor walk up and it took less than half the time. They showed up at 7am and the move was done by 1pm. Where is this? $500 is a great deal for a move. Texas. For a local move. You just pay a base rate plus time. So if you don't have too much stuff and it's not too far, it's doable. Also depends on if they allocate 2 or 3 people to do it. For my second move it was closer to $700 because I had more stuff and it had to go farther. Second monitor. Oh god yes. I had a 30 page paper due last week and having 2 monitors made my life a thousand times easier. Not having to alt tab to research and pull quotes is literally a godsend for all my research papers. A 10 foot braided charging cable for my phone. It wasn't really that expensive. But holy shit it's nice to have a really long charging cable. Just one, I bought two 3 packs on Amazon for like $20 total. Room, living room, bag, work, car, computer. Not looking for charges is equally as good as not having to move closer to the socket. I really enjoy Spotify Premium. I like the ability to download podcasts or playlists so I don't eat up my data on long car rides. Laser eye surgery. The best 10 minutes I've ever spent money on. The recovery time wasn't that bad. And it was a legitimate excuse to sleep. How much was it if you don't mind me asking? I spent about the same as the OP. Let me tell you. Don't skimp on it. If you have any concern about the credibility of the doctor, find a better doctor. It can really create a hassle if it's not done correctly. While the procedure is basically the same, there's a lot of new tech that pretty much eliminates human error potential. You want that. You won't go blind, probably, but you will have issues with dry eyes for a very long time, as well as halos at night. Also, and this is very important, if your eye prescription has changed in the last few years, you absolutely don't want to get LASIK. Any respectable doctor won't allow it, but some unfortunately will. If you're on the east coast, I recommend Delo Russo LASIK. Moving to a neighborhood without all of the constant gunfire and police helicopters. You don't like playing gunshots or fireworks at night? The trick is, it's always gunshots. A good desk chair. Not that racing gaming chair bullshit, but the premium office desk chair kind. Herman Miller Iron for me. Lasts forever. Widely available refurbished and or second hand for much lower price than brand new. Has been around forever and they make replacement parts. 
Meesh. I must say, as a gamer plus keyboard warrior IT by day, the Secret Labs chairs are a close second to a great professional office chair like a Herman Miller. I've fallen asleep comfortably in my Secret Labs Amiga on multiple occasions. Buying big fluffy towels. Got the idea from Mark Cuban. At this point I don't bother buying bath towels anymore. Only extra large bath sheets for me. A pair of glasses. I just went from 240p to 4k. Good boots. I've been in the military. Fire service M's. All jobs that require boots. When I was in the military, I bought a $200 pair of Rockies. Lasted for years. Firefighter slash EMT. Hakes boots for $260. They last forever. They last long and are comfortable. Anytime I bought $60 boots from Walmart they fall apart in 6 months. And the only time I've had a plan to fasciitis flare up is in the cheap boots. I'm a huge fan of Red Wing. I wear mine every day for work and they've lasted about 6 years. Only had them replaced stitching once. A good gaming mouse. Not even really for playing video games. I have carpal tunnel and the difference between a cheap mouse you can grab at Walmart for $10 and an ergonomic one for $60 is league apart. I need the RGB IT helps me click better. A cleaning service. Someone cleaning for you, even just once every two weeks, is a life changer. Can somebody ever make a case for this if the person considering it is really strapped for money? I can only see every two weeks cleaning being worth it for people that have a decent level of disposable income. Where I'm from a person will decently clean your house for $60-$80. I assume it's a bit more in more expensive places. Yes it's a luxury, but the point is that if you can afford it it's super worth it. But it's still a luxury, there are other luxuries that even if you could afford them, they aren't worth it. Just started doing this last month. I got a promotion a few months back and it meant longer hours. My wife works full time and we have a one year old. Time is extremely limited and some chores had fallen off. We spend $100 a month for 2 by 2 hour cleaning sessions. Big time game changer and totally worth it to shit on a clean toilet. Shoes. A good pair of leather boots will set you back a few hundred bucks. But they last a long time. And when the soles wear down. You can just take them to a shoemaker and they're good as new. Economy to business class for long haul flights. I'm never going back to economy again. Going from using cheap dollar store earbuds to getting a decent pair of JBL Bluetooth ones. My life has never been the same. I upgraded from a $50 pair of Bluetooth headphones to $15 KZ earbuds. And they sound miles better. I can actually hear all the instruments now computer chair. Went from a wooden kitchen chair to a proper office chair. Not one of those cheap ones. A proper comfy one. And my back stopped aching within a week. I'd thought it was my bed that was causing me issues. No. I always got 10-15 haircuts my entire life from places like Great Clips or Supercuts or whatever the duck they are called. New barbershop opened in town. A proper barber. Went in there and got a 30-50 cut and beard trim. You can also sip a nice glass of whiskey while you get your hair cut and bullshit with a cool barber. For the extra money the experience and final product is well worth it. I'll never go back to shitty haircuts again. Don't sip while getting your bangs cut. I once spent 10 pounds to upgrade my paintball gun at a friend's birthday party. The best 10 pounds I've ever spent. Dramatically increased the accuracy and power of each shot and meant I had a pretty unfair advantage on the rest of the group. Definitely pay to win. Basically made the money back throughout the day too. As I didn't need to purchase as many paintballs. Three jobs ago we did a team building exercise at a paintball field. I was the only one who upgraded my gun. My boss boss was super ducking pissed. Good times. What changed the quality of my sleep was buying a new high quality mattress and a two people bed. Even though I'm alone. Imo. A good bed is the very first thing a person should buy when they move into their own place. A good night's sleep makes the day so much better. A 144HZ monitor over a regular 60HZ one. It's like going from a PowerPoint presentation to a movie. Funny. I bought a 144HZ monitor a few years ago but I was only using an older HDMI cable. I obviously didn't notice a difference and just thought well. 
I guess I can see above 60 hertz. Then I was talking to a friend one day and he pointed out I wasn't using a DP cable. I never thought about it. Went to Best Buy. Plugged it in and just simply moving my mouse across the screen damn near brought a tear to me eye. 1080p to 1440p. HD to QHD. Games are starting to look comparable to life. Laser eye surgery. This is one I don't think I could do. I hate my face without glasses. And I don't think I could leave the house if every day I needed to show off my bags and how sunken my eyes are. Glasses are the only thing that make me even kinda attractive. Get laser eye surgery. Replace lenses with straight glass. That way you can see just fine when you're doing stuff around and about and no one will make fun of you for wearing fake glasses because you had them before. You may need to lie about your laser eye surgery, however. Decent insulated winter boots. Cost a bit more but now my feet stay warm and shoveling snow isn't nearly as dreadful as it used to be. Pillows. I bought a pair of the fancy bamboo cover, memory foam king size pillows at an arena home show a few years ago. They are the only pillows I've ever owned that don't go flat after a few months. Moving from having roommates to living alone. In my case, my rent almost doubled but it is amazing living alone. I miss having a friend around all the time but at least they're not there all the time. A mattress. I spent my first 19 years sleeping on a hand-me-down mattress which was bought in the 70s. And then when I moved out in a sleeping bag then a $200 IKEA mattress. I bought a $1400 Lissa mattress. And holy shit it's so much better. I've had it 3 years now and it's worth every penny. My back doesn't hurt every time I get up. It's so comfortable. And it doesn't stab you with springs poking out like my previous 2 mattresses had. Toilet paper. Silky smooth. Movie theater seats. In our local theater, there are a few rows of reserved seats. They're in prime location. Cost about a dollar extra per ticket. And let you arrive right before the show. Instead of waiting in line for an hour hoping to nab a decent spot. My local theaters let everyone choose their seats for no extra cost on a first come first serve basis. Buying good speakers. My spare time when watching series or listening to music is so much more enjoyable. It is now 4 years since I bought them and I can still almost cry whenever I come home after a longer period away when listening to them. First class, or whatever they called the upper class, on the train from Amsterdam to Paris. It cost only slightly more but gave good Wi-Fi, nice seats, free food, and it was very quiet. On the return trip I was on the other side of the car and didn't even have a seat beside me. Upgraded my 2014 Focus to a 2017 Fusion. Duck all of those future transmission replacements. Not a Ford would also have been an upgrade. My car. I went from a 1997 Grand Marquis to a used 2016 Chevy Volt. I was paying out the ass in gas and there were lots of little expensive gremlins I had to fix. Then the transmission started to get a bit wonky and it didn't feel right to drop over $1000 to replace it on a car worth maybe twice that. Now I have a car that's fun to drive, reliable on road trips, and is maybe $80 more expensive per month, factoring in slightly higher insurance and registration costs. Don't take this as an excuse to go out and buy a fancy new car you can't afford though. Do your homework and make an informed decision before dropping lots of money on anything. Had a basic laptop with a Pentium processor. Saved up over summer and bought a gaming machine risen 2600. GTX 1070T. 16GB RAM. Definitely the best thing I've ever bought. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.